Drew Barrymore proved she and ex-husband Will Copelman had no bad blood while out with their two daughters and his new wife Vogue director Alexandra Mitchler on Tuesday night. The duo got together for a night out to the theater, seen enjoying a dinner at the Japanese barbecue Gyukaku before heading to Broadway to catch a performance of Hamilton. Drew, 46, looked stylish in a long navy coat and crisp white blouse as she lead her daughter Frankie, 7, by the hand. Stiletto-heeled boots and a newsboy cap completed the look. Meanwhile, Alexandra held Will and Drew's other daughter Olive, 8, hand while Dad walked ahead of the pack. Flaunting her fashion expertise, Mitchler sauntered along in an orange maxi dress with cap sleeves, a rouge top and long skirt. It seemed Will had picked up some style tips from his new wife, looking sharp in a dark jacket worn with jeans and suede boots. Art consultant Will, 42, wed the 33-year-old Vogue director in a Nantucket ceremony on August 28, with Ian Drew's daughters Olive, 8, and Frankie, 6, acting as flower girls. Barrymore, 46, was married to Will from 2012 to 2016. While Shed previously called their divorce really hard, she gushed how happy she was for Will and Alexandra upon their engagement, calling the fashion editor wonderful. In a carousel of images the two looked the picture of wedded bliss as they enjoyed a luxury vacation on the Amalfi Coast filled with scenic boat rides and seaside meals. In one snap the pair threw their arms around each other while overlooking the water, and in a second Alexandra flashed her new wedding band while they kissed. Luna di Mille, Copelman captioned the series, which means honeymoon in Italian, and his post garnered comments from those including Olivia Munn. The couple were first confirmed to be dating in December 2020 and got engaged in January with Will sharing a snap that read, Love you love you love you love January 30th 2021. Shortly after the news broke, Barrymore threw her support behind the father of her children and his soon-to-be bride at the time. I'm happy to say he just got engaged to this wonderful woman named Ali who I am probably president of her fan club, she told Howard Stern. The hashtag no evil stepmother is the greatest blessing I could have hoped for. She is just so wonderful. I want him to be happy. Will and Alexandra exchanged vows at Sankati Head Beach Club in Nantucket and were joined by a large group of friends and family. And Copelman's sister Jill who works with Drew on the Drew Barrymore show, sweetly wrote, As soon as I met Adelaide Michler I knew it like her. What I didn't know was that I would love her. Will and Drew wed in Montecito in 2012 and amicably ended their four-year marriage in 2016, announcing the news with a joint statement. Sadly our family is separating legally, although we do not feel this takes away from us being a family, the couple said. They continued, divorce might make one feel like a failure, but eventually you start to find grace in the idea that life goes on. Our children are our universe, and we look forward to living the rest of our lives with them as the first priority. And years later Drew confessed that divorce was the last thing she wanted for their kids because she did not grow up with any family whatsoever. I really did not take divorce well. I took it really hard, she admitted in October on Sunday today with Willie Geist. I was, like, oh, the ultimate promise I wanted to make with you and for you was to have this amazing family and I found them. And Terry's something not working that isn't livable. How tragic is that? The Never Been Kissed star also dished that she was initially attracted to Will because he was solid in more ways than one. 
will struck a lot of my pragmatic sides. He was someone who was always reachable on the phone, someone who is a classy human being, someone who has this incredible blueprint of a family that I don't have, she continued. And while the former child star said she was scared to find love again, she has since joined a dating app, most likely the exclusive celebrity favorite, Rhea. It's true. I got back on a dating app, while binge-watching Netflix, Bridgerton, Drew confessed on the January 15th episode of her syndicated daytime talk show. I was like, I'm not dead, I'm not dead. For me, that was a big step. Barrymore previously divorced Canadian comedian Tom Green in 2002 after 15 months of marriage, and British bar owner Jeremy Thomas in 1995 after less than two months of marriage.